that again is wrong. Uh, the prison deputy or member, uh, Chin Kim Tong, testified it was in the latter part of 1977 that this took place. Pantol, you, you might recall, um, initially testified um, in this courtroom that he was arrested in uh, mid-June 1977 and the event relating to the dry was about one month later. And I would submit to your honors that that uh, testimony uh, is more reliable uh, than what we heard when the defense tried to question him about whether it was jackfruit season or not. A witness is never going to forget coming upon a mass grave of hundreds of killed people who had just been in the prison. I cannot imagine how a witness would remember 30 years later whether or not it was jackfruit season. So we believe the evidence you've heard is consistent uh, with uh, this telegram having been sent to the leaders in Phnom Penh in June 1977. There needed to be further interrogation of these people. That, can, that could have easily taken a long time, given how many. The evidence is inconsistent, is, is entirely consistent that this was the same group of people. Sont concordants sur la sur le fait que il s'agissait d'une même groupe de personnes. Let me turn uh, to Panam Kral, uh, just a Je few pense, uh, remarks, Kral, um, remarks, because I want to acknowledge uh, the defense seemed to think we're incapable of making concessions, and we're not. Uh, they pointed fait. out. Uh, that the evidence regarding killings at Pranam Kral, Kral was, Pranam Kral, uh, they argued it was not as strong. And we do not dispute that. There is, there is no question uh, that the evidence you heard from Pranam Kral is not of the same quality as what you heard for the other three security centers, where we had multiple corroborating witnesses, admissions of cadres about the killings, and documents. There's no question the evidence from Phnom Kral is not that strong, as strong as that. We did not argue in our brief that there was sufficient evidence of extermination at this particular site. But I would remind you of Mais, one of the reasons for this. The, the defense like to complain raison. about procedures la not being able to go out and investigate. Uh, one of the problems we faced with this site uh, bien, was that between site, 2009, when the investigation finished, Entre 2009, and we looked through and, and saw the witnesses who had been interviewed, Ensuite, nous avons between then and the time we got to trial, we found out that most of not most, donc, all uh, of the surviving procès, detainees other than uh, the two from the K-17 site had passed away. Décédés, sauf deux de K and so uh, we looked through uh, the Nous list of who was there. La liste de ceux qui uh, we looked through the list of civil parties la liste de uh, and there was one remaining uh, possibility il who could be called. Possibilité. And you've heard from both defense teams complaints about our reliance on the testimony you heard from Sun Vut, the Division 920 soldier. And we asked you to call him, uh, your honors, because he was a civil party who had been admitted by the co-investigating judges, specifically in relation to Phnom Krau. He was admitted as a civil party, specifically in relation to Phnom Krau. And you'll see that in the closing order, uh, paragraph 643, paragraph footnote uh, 2797. And he said in his civil party application, he was detained at a prison uh, near a mountain in Konek district, which is the district uh, that Phnom Krau was in. We hoped that he uh, had been imprisoned in the large, uh, the large prison 
uh, that is, that used the name Phnom Kral. You remember, the site consists of a number of different offices and buildings. It's rather a confusing crime site. Um, but we were hoping that this was someone who had been detained uh, in this large prison in which hundreds of Division 920 soldiers were, uh, were kept. Um, and I certainly concede that is not where he was detained. Uh, he was detained in a smaller office in the same area but in a smaller office that was not the, the very big prison. It is, it is for you to decide um, whether the location he was detained is within the scope. And I would submit to you um, that uh, in this area, you heard this evidence, uh, the operations, the security operations in prisons of Division of Sector 105 and Division 920 were used interchangeably. Division 920 soldiers were imprisoned eh bien, at the sector Phnom Kral offices. Phnom Kral. So it would be entirely reasonable to Et conclude donc, that this was part of this network of security offices in this region. But irrespective, irrespective Mais of your conclusion on that, the defense argument that you must simply ignore the testimony of Sun Van is wrong. And I'd comment here on the Kusimpan team. La de they, ignore, uh, they ignore a basic a distinction une throughout their entire arguments, often throughout this trial, on whether facts are part of, de uh, of the crime part uh, for which the accused is charged, and whether evidence Deuxième is admissible for other purposes. Sunvut's testimony, whether he was in, in a prison that was part of Phnom Kral or not, is still admissible. It shows the systematic use of torture by this regime, by the CPK, at its security offices. And that is an issue in this case. And they, time and time again, pretend that this is not the case. I have no doubt your honors can make the distinction between whether uh, an event, a fact, uh, is, is a crime for which the accused can be convicted, and whether an, an evidence that may be not part uh, of, of the specific crime base but proves the policy. And let me briefly take an aside here um, to address an issue that was raised uh, by the Cusampan team regarding Trapping Tama. Uh, they are absolutely right, Your Honors, uh, that Imcham's statement that Cusampan visited uh, that site uh, cannot be used uh, because it is act and conduct evidence. They're absolutely right. Uh, the use of that interview, uh, however, is completely unnecessary to prove this point because Kusampan himself has admitted twice that he visited Trapiang Tama Dam. And I would note here that in their day and a half of arguments, the Kusampan team entirely ignored this. They didn't say a word about their clients admitted visit to Trapiang Tama. And let me also make clear that while M. Cham's interview uh, can't be used to prove uh, Kusampan's visit, uh, it can be used and it is powerful evidence of what Kusampan or anyone else would have seen when they went to this site. Her description of the conditions at Trapiang Tama is admissible. It is not acts and conduct evidence. And it tells us what Kusampan would have seen when, as he admits, he went to the site. Now let me turn back
uh, to security offices. And this was the point of my remarks um, where I had expected to respond to the arguments of the defense regarding S21. But there is a hole here because despite having two long days to present their defense, the Nunchea team said hardly a word about what we believe is the most important crime site in this case and what, it is, what is certainly the crime site most closely connected to their client, Nunchea, a prison at which 18,000, we now know, were killed, many under the direct orders of the accused. Is there anyone out there who believes that the Nunchea team did not address S21 because they ran out of time? They had three opportunities here to talk about S21. And each time they took a pass. Friday afternoon, they passed on talking about S21 so they could leave 20 minutes early. Monday morning, when we were expecting it to be addressed, they skipped it. And Monday afternoon, they again chose to say nothing and instead uh, threw some more insults our way. What were the pressing important matters they had to talk about instead of S21, the security office overseen by Nunchea? We got two sessions on the crocodile, plan A, plan B, phases 1, 2, 3. We received a lecture on the meaning of communism sur le sens du and another lecture et un autre on Western insensitivity sur to Cambodian culture des by an Australian. Culture Cambodian, un sermon administré par and une Australienne. we got 47, 47 references to the Manichaean narrative. Du discours Nothing about S21, Rien but 47 S21. times they talked about the Manichaean narrative. Nothing about the child Pas prisoners sur les at S21 or Krang Tachan. Tachan. There's silence on S21 Le silence and the child prisoners, your honors, spoke volumes. Perhaps uh, tomorrow, they will try to talk about S21 so that no one has an opportunity to respond. Perhaps. And if so, shame on them. But so be it. Nothing, nothing they can say changes the evidence that proves their clients guilt and proves the crimes at the security office. ainsi que les crimes commis au bureau de sécurité. So, we didn't hear about S21, La défense ne nous a pas parlé de S21. but we did hear Par contre, about the Manichaean narrative over, le over and over and over. Over and over. À maintes reprises. And each of the 47 times Et they talked about this, it became more and more clear they don't de cette even mention, understand what the plus term plus actually means. Que la défense ne savait pas ce que it's not ce difficult terme. to explain. Ce n'est guère difficile à expliquer. What Manichaean actually means Manichaean, ça veut dire is having a dualist eh bien, view ça désigne une vision in which you divide the world into good and evil, du monde. good Un monde and bad. En bien et en mal. Who, who does that sound like? Ça vous rappelle qui? The greatest irony of these closing Le arguments, the Your Honors, is that no one no one is more guilty of a Manichaean mindset than the Khmer Rouge themselves, the people who divided Cambodia into good elements and bad elements, and killed the, those they viewed as bad. That is Manichaean. You heard the lawyers describe the security policy as one that aimed to keep the good people and purge the bad. 
à conserver les bons éléments et puis les La défense when they were describing the policy of the CPK this way, they were throwing their own client under the Manichian bus. Your Honor, I'm going to leave uh, some time. Uh, ten minutes for uh, the national co prosecutor. La co uh, I have two uh, more brief uh, issues uh, I would like to make before uh, before I pass uh, the, the microphone to her. One, uh, a few points in response to the issues that were raised regarding the accused uh, criminal responsibility. Why? Why are Nunchea and Kusimpan responsible Pourquoi for the Kusimpan imprisonment and killing at security offices? Ayant eu lieu it's not de because sécurité. they had breakfast together. That is not le petit our argument. Ce pas notre argument. They lived and worked together constantly et by their own admission, constamment. the three of Ils them, tous les before, trois. during, and after ce, the DK regime. Et après le régime du Most importantly, ce qui est they were uh, the, te the most regular participants at the leadership meetings of the party, standing committee and Réunion committee central committee meetings, meetings, at which decisions were made, decisions instructions given instructions on arrests of purported enemies, enemies, including their fellow leaders. Kusimpan and Nunchea were Kusimpan two of a very, very small group of leaders who sat around the table at K1 and made these decisions. decisions. They sat around that table et and they decided the fate table, et of Nordam Sinu and his children, as Nordam you saw in those uh, standing committee voir. minutes. They decided the fate of fellow leaders like Chakri and Chu and Chu Chet. You remember Doik, who testified Doik that Pol Pot invited Kusum Pond in lieu of Vorn Bet to the meeting pour, uh, that was to decide the arrest of West Zone Secretary Chu Chet. So it is their participation as a part of the very small group of center leaders who made these groupe decisions de haut that is one of the bases. Décisions qui constitue un des and the second, de notre assertion. and we address this in detail Deuxième in our point, brief, et je vous the political education mémoire, meetings and speeches des des they regularly gave to the party cadres in which they identified uh, which groups were considered enemies, and they instructed the cadres to be vigilant, to constantly watch out and search for the enemies burrowing from the inside. Your Honors, um, the Defense Council I told you uh, the Cambodian folk story uh, of the farmer who blames the goat for food Cambodian eaten by a monkey because the monkey framed the goat by wiping the food on the goat's mouth. Chèvre. And I'd le like to end today la by telling you the democratic Kampuchea version le singe of that story. Avait enduit la bouche de la chèvre, de because because it, it is bien, truly fortunate for that goat that the farmer who found him with food on his face was not Nunchea, Kusimpan, or Pol Pot. De et bien cette a eu they would not de have la just blamed the goat for eating the food. Pot, the leaders of the CPK would have smashed the goat for stealing the food, Ils la smashed the monkey Ils for being part of the goat's network, singe, and killed the all of their offspring de et ils so the eggs of these enemies would not spread. And that is the sad reality voilà of how things work in democratic Kampuchea. That was the callous disregard for life Un repeatedly shown by the leaders of this party. Par les and it's a story I hope is never repeated que cette ne in this country again. I thank you, Your Honors, for the time. And I'm now, you'll hear some concluding remarks from the national prosecutor. À la coprocureur Kodjen. Ma, à ton cœur. Yes, you may proceed. Le président, je vous en prie. Tu 
Chilling. Thank Chilean. you. And good morning, Mr. President. Merci. Uh, your Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Monsieur le Juge. And everyone. Je salue aussi le parti et toutes les personnes ici présentes. This is the, the last uh, hour and last time for uh, our presentation Nous in the case of à la fin 002 de nos réquisitions. Ce sont and les derniers moments également dans le remarks, deuxième uh, procès du dossier 002. Et nous avons quelques observations And over the previous three and a half days Au cours of des court hearings, trois jours et demi qui se sont écoulés, les, teams of defense, counsel, les équipes de défense dotées de ressources considérables ont énergiquement prétendu que c'était un simple procès un exercice de propagande destiné au parrain du tribunal, un exercice dont l'objectif n'avait jamais été de découvrir la vérité concernant les faits allégués. In two weeks of public Durant ces deux semaines d'audience publique, en galleries, présence de centaines de personnes dans la galerie du public, and broadcast au cours d'audience qui ont été diffusées the internet, dans le monde entier, sur la toile, the defense les avocats de la défense ont été autorisés à présenter leurs arguments about the sur l'équité du procès. The fairness of sur l'équité de vos décisions, messieurs les juges. The strength of the evidence in this case, without any interference and censorship from the court or anyone else. Et ce, sans intervention du tribunal ou de qui que ce soit d'autre, et sans que personne ne vienne les censurer. Tout au long du procès. Monsieur les juges, vous avez fait preuve de patience et d'équité. En effet, vous avez laissé les accusés, par l'entremise de leurs avocats, avancer tous les arguments de leur choix, même lorsqu'ils ont attaqué votre intégrité. You allowed Malgré them tout, the opportunity vous les avez to make these arguments arguments and to make them publicly. Publiquement. Your professionalism, patience, Il nous faut saluer and votre fairness professionnalism, to the votre defense patience et votre equity envers la defense in light en of these personal attacks. Que vous avez subi. So be acknowledged. During these Au cours closing arguments, de ces plaidoiries, the defense la have expressed défense a their surprise sa surprise and satisfaction et sa satisfaction with the appeal or judgment in case 002-01, le premier procès du dossier 002, which entered partial acquittals on their part of the case. Your Honours, un acquittement we did not agree with all of that decision. Nous n'étions pas d'accord avec toutes les décisions On rendues par la Chambre de la Cour suprême. Findings, we were disappointed, Pour ce qui est indeed. de certaines des conclusions qui ont été tirées sur des points de droit et de fait, nous avons été déçus. But it is not possible, Mais nor is it the job il est impossible of to please all the de satisfaire toutes les parties, et telle n'est d'ailleurs pas non plus la tâche. Their job is to apply the law to the facts as they find them fairly and in accordance with their conscience. We recognize this and of course appreciate the difficult job that all of the judges and the ECCC faced and your dedication to those duties. Zelle. No one who reads the appeal judgment, which made several findings highly favorable to the accused, can possibly think this court was set up with a predetermined outcome. Quiconque lit cet arrêt the judgments of the ne saurait donc possiblement are based penser on law and que l'issue du procès était arrêtée be. avant la création du tribunal. And Les jugements rendus au CTC se fondent sur le droit et sur les preuves, et c'est normal. 
made several Certes, findings dans favorable to the accused. À du procès, it also upheld the majority of the convictions, ont été recognized that Nudji and Kiev's unpunished responsibility for those crimes had been proven beyond a reasonable doubt de and de acknowledged that pour the trial was fundamentally fair and in accordance with international fair trial standards que le procès avait and été fondamentalement équitable et conforme aux normes internationales du droit équitable. Et d'ailleurs, cet arrêt a confirmé la peine prononcée en Le 29 mai 2013, la partie civile Ho Chanta vous a raconté la perte de 20 membres regime, de sa famille sous le régime des Khmers Rouges. Elle vous a dit de quelle manière ces événements l'avaient touché. Et Today, I am so excited that I am given the opportunity by this international court who crossed the oceans in order to come here to find justice for them and for the Cambodian people. He said, this is the day that I have been waiting for more than 30 years. Voilà le jour que depuis plus de 30 ans. I would like to make a request to you all Your Honours, which is the International Court, to judge fairly and justly in proportion to the gravity of the crimes. Her simple, simple word express the enormous but straightforward task ahead of you. Décrive bien la tâche énorme mais claire incombant au juge. Il leur incombe de juger de façon Juste et taking into account en tenant the enormous scale de and the gravity of the crimes. Des crimes. If the evidence si does not prove guilt beyond a reasonable doubt on any single charge or on all charges, ne it pas is your duty de to acquit on that charge. Qu'un chef d'accusation donné oui, doit être retenu, alors in such case expect, les juges expect you doivent to acquit, prononcer l'acquittement sur ce chef. C'est d'ailleurs ce que nous attendons de la part des juges acquittés dans ce cas de figure. You will see that it has established beyond any dans reasonable doubt mémoire, that both Nunchi and Keo Sampong criminally responsible que les for the enslavement présentées lors du procès n'était pas suffisante pour démontrer au-delà de tout doute raisonnable que les accusés where many were étaient coupables executed de crimes de guerre sous la forme de transfert illicite d'un civil vers S21. They forcibly imposed on the population for inhumane acts connected to their forced marriage policy and the rapes that were part of this policy for the persecution of Buddhists when they sought to eliminate ailleurs, that religion nous sommes convaincus qu'il a été démontré que les accusés sont responsables de réduction d'esclavage, actes inhumains par rapport aux mariages forcés et les viols dans ce contexte, persécution des bouddhistes, persécution et génocide des chams et des vietnamiens, et pour les détentions illégales, torture, meurtre, extermination de dizaines de milliers d'adultes et d'enfants dans les quatre centres de sécurité retenus dans ce procès. All the documents that the co-prosecutors refer to are from well-known sources. Par the defense allegations connu, that the documents la presented by the co-prosecutors and that witnesses lied are unfounded. Ne sont pas et selon quoi les What would be the reasons for the co-prosecutors, witnesses, civil parties, and experts to make a full presentation or testimony? Your Honours, we ask you to weigh the nous evidence carefully, judge fairly, and find the truth. 
de façon équitable et de trouver la vérité. C'est la vérité qui rendra victime aux justi justice aux victimes. Um, future qui aidera les jeunes et les in Cambodia, générations futures du Cambodge ainsi que partout ailleurs dans le monde. Let us do all we can to deter tout ce que nous pouvons pour empêcher from que de telles atrocités again. ne se produisent à nouveau. Your Honours, this has been a long and complex case. You have, you have heard the testimony of 278 people in this courtroom, 172 witnesses, 11 experts and 95 civil parties in the two trials of Nunji and Kyo Sampong. This has occurred over 419